you don't need a VR goggle or 3D glasses. Just with the phone and the screen, with a powerful Unreal, you can turn this into a 3D display. Sounds crazy? Let's go. Do you remember that scene in Mission Impossible 4 where Tom Cruise and Benji created this hologrammy projection device that made themselves invisible to the guard to infiltrate the Kremlin? And because the system can track the guard's movement and adjust the projection in real time, so to the guard, it looks like a real 3D tunnel even though it was just projection on a flat surface. So freaking cool, right? But is it possible in a real engine? Okay, let's break it down what's happening here. The core concept here is parallax. Put it simply, when two balls moving at the same speed, the background image object will appear to move slower than the foreground object, therefore create an illusion of depth. You see this in 2D video games a lot, but also in all 3D engines reproduce this illusion based on the 3D scene geometry. Okay, with that established, as long as we can figure out a way to make the TV show parallax responding to our position and to our eyes, we should be able to see that the TV has that. All right, before I go in too deep, let me show you something. Check this out. Check this out. Johnny Lee did it 14 years ago. It's crazy. Crazy. Well, let's see if it's easier 14 years later in our real engine. There are two main problems that we need to solve. First, how to locate ourselves relatively to the screen in the easiest way. And the second, how do we make the screen display content that matches the parallax plus distortion based on where we are. And the second problem is very similar to another optical illusion on the curved billboard videos popping up recently, except the optimal view position in that case is locked. So if we solve the second problem, we should be able to recreate the curved billboard as well. Epic technically solved both problems using the virtual production tools. Think about this way, we are actually turning the living room into a small virtual production set. So in order to get the proper layout of the room, I need to scan it first. Before I, before I scan the room, I want to put the TV into a position that I want my screen to be later on. So after I scan the room, I can align everything up perfectly. So one of the things you see the LiDAR doesn't handle well is with the reflective surface. I'm actually working on another video that uses the Nerf to scan the room with an app called Luma AI. So leave a comment if you want to see that. And uh, uh, it's crazy stuff, by the way. It's just a totally different way to think about 3D construction and how do we render things in the future. Okay, with the 3D scan in Unreal Engine, now I can have a proper measurement of the space. Also, I can locate myself in real time, comparing to the real space. The scan can also help me to calibrate my camera positions for later. So if I did this right, when I'm looking at the screen from the front, I should be able to see through the screen just like in the movie. Okay, now let's figure out how do we locate ourselves in the room in the easiest way. Easiest way. What would be an easy way to be able to locate yourself? In the room, right? I'm just gonna go for it. Oof. See? Easy. You can locate all the sensors. Avoid rapid movements. Let's turn around. It's mess oh, hey, there he is. Wow, they're actually pretty accurate. This seems to be a pretty good solution, right? I can see myself in real time that I'm moving around. Um, hey, but look at me. I look ridiculous. Do you think this looks easy solution? Sue definitely checks the accuracy box, but not the easy to use box. So I need a better solution that without the suit, without any goggle. How about webcam? Now webcam can track my face, therefore it should know how far or close am I from the monitor, right? So if I go out slightly out of the camera view, that the tracking stops. I'm gonna drink my coffee, the track drift. I think this solution is probably as close as you can get to the Tom Cruise one. I know some of you probably screaming, HTC Vive, those type of the uh, lighthouse tracker. Accessible, I want people to do this very easily. 
How about an iPhone? Okay, now we're talking, now the virtual camera is hooked up with my 3D scan. So it's kind of a trippy experience. So what you see in the screen right now is me controlling a virtual camera that looking at this 3D scan we did. And you see the tracking is pretty solid. So now you know why we need to put, we need to put the TV in place before we scan the room. So we can now just calibrate everything properly. Okay, we solved the camera and the position issue. The next one is how do we render our parallax based on where we are in the scene and translate the render to a flat screen like this. So when we move, the screen will display the proper parallax. And the answer is end display. Epic developed the end display system for virtual production usage, such as rendering content to multiple screens simultaneously. But also, it can map the output content based on the physical spatial layout of the screen. And the output of the screen can be driven by a VR tracking system like VCam. You notice how the background parallax is shifting as the camera moves? I think that sounds exactly what we're looking for. I should only have one end display screen that maps to exactly where this TV is and use the virtual camera position to drive the viewer position so the end display screen will match the parallax or the perspective of what's behind the TV. Okay, let's quickly hook up everything together. Constrain your default viewer position or your inner frustum camera to your virtual camera and use the live link from the phone to drive the virtual camera. Moment of truth, I hooked up the VCam again. And if I move to the other side, I am supposed to see a see-through screen. Let's see, let's go. We move across the screen. I gotta be honest, at this point, I have no idea what's the other side gonna look like. But then this happened. Now let's see what we see in the VCam. You see that? You see that? It does look like a see-through TV, right? Since it's an end display in an unreal scene, so we can add other objects to the room. And it looks surprisingly 3D. How about some portal effect, put it into a different environment? Or even, how about two screens, just like the curve of the billboard? Of course, in the end, I don't think this will be the movie spyware, but with the minimum amount of equipment, a phone, and an end display, we created a living room virtual production set. I think that's what Unreal Magic is, to make technology more accessible and by hacking the tools we found usage probably wasn't even intended for and created some really cool content. So let's bring out some fun in real time. Well, thanks for staying to the end. Click like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't. If you're curious who the robot is you see in the video, check out this one. That's her first short film that rendered entirely in Unreal. I'll see you in the next one.